Welcome to the start of the 2046 season. My name is Paul, also known as the Northman. And in this video, we will look at the transfers and the squad ahead of a new season in the Fair Islands as we look to continue to dominate domestically and try to do something continentally. Continentally. Is that a word? I think so. So, we're going to start by looking at transfers. So, we brought in one player before the end of last season, and that is Samsa Koskinen. 17 year old Finnish player who comes in to play for our youth team has a bit of potential. He was on a free transfer, so I decided to take a punt. And I don't think he's that bad. Comment below what you think of this guy. I don't think he's that bad. Decent personality as well, resolute. But here we are 21 million brought in, 22 and a half million spent. Let's start with the outs. Loans we won't go into, we'll just mention. So, Paul Christensen's gone on loan B36, staying in the league after we signed him from Sunderland. Going out is Getty and the bigger Enzezi on a free transfer. And Per Thompson has gone to Vester, the 19-year-old guy we picked up from Esbjerg. Now, we've ended up selling him to Vester because I just thought, you know what? He's going to stay in the league. He's going to stay in the league. So we paid half a million for him. Yes, it's a massive loss. But at the same time, I've sold him to a club in the league. So I was happy to take that loss. Uh, Arkovic, the young Croatian who we picked up for 3.2 million, has gone on loan to Rosenborg. We will end up getting about 2 million back for him. Plus 50% of next sale. That's why I've ended up selling him. I didn't really want to let him go. But at the same time, we have way too many foreign players. So, yes, we've took a loss now, money-wise, but the 50% of the next sale means we might end up recouping a lot of that money, if not way more. Um, Mihelson, our young Latvian winger, well, young, he's 23 now, he's gone alone to Kalmar for the season, still not getting in around our first team, so getting him out to get some football. The English central mid, who played 21 games during his two years with us, uh, Golsak, has gone to Reading for 3.2 million. This is more down to me just trying to slim the squad down of foreign players and having the backup players be more domestic, like Finnish, Icelandic, Danish, Norwegian or Swedish. So he has gone. And also Peluso for £3.5 million. Obviously, we paid nothing for him. He's been with us for two years. End up selling him there for £3.5 million. So a nice bit of profit on him. Diego Levea has gone to Michelin. This is a sale I wasn't sure about, but again, way too many defenders. 800k plus 50% of next sale. I think it was a deal I was happy to do. Uh, Kabongo and Pettersson have both gone on loan to Denmark. And Sene has gone to um, Generation Foot for 1.2 million plus 50% of next sale. Another player who never just got into our first team. And again, being a foreign player, I've ended up just letting him go. I always seem to have these clear outs every few years. Going for 1.1 million is Juan Gonzalez, the Paraguayan winger. I think we paid a million, or was it half a million? 600k. Played for our B team for a year, sold for 1.1 million. I'm happy with that. Uh, Schmidt has ended up leaving us 30 years old now. Um, his contract was running out, so he's gone to Stjarn and We wish him well. We wish him well. Let him get some football. Um, Tati, the young goalkeeper, has gone off to Sweden for a year. Uh, Fernando Henrique, who did have the perfect personality, was a very solid Brazilian defender, but we've ended up selling him for 2.8 million. A uh, big came in and he said he actually wanted to leave, so we let him go. It's as simple as that. But that's our outs. That is our outs. Now let's look at the ins, shall we? So I wanted some more depth in goal. Mort uh, Mortensen is retiring at the end of the year, the national team goalkeeper, been our backup for a few years now. So Otterson has come in from Denmark. Now I tried to pick him up last year from Copenhagen, but age 17, the old bit picky about leaving and he didn't want to go. But he has come in now and at the age of 18, he is an absolute quality goalkeeper. And um, also Nain Talon has just picked up an injury. So, Otterson will be starting the season as our first choice keeper. Um, this is an impressive one. We have signed somebody who was actually labelled as a wonder kid for 14 million from Reading. 
Uh, Lewis Dolner, an English right back. We needed an actual right back, and we've actually got one now. An English right back, Lewis Dolner, labelled as a wonder kid, has joined us. We've actually signed a wonder kid. Forget about the clickbaits, we've actually signed a wonder kid. Venton Porter comes in as a B team player with the potential to move on to other clubs in our league. Very talented player, to be honest. If he develops well, you never know. But comes in for a million. And the next signing. This was agreed before I signed this Lewis Dolner. Just just remember that. And when a wonder kid can come to you, I had to sign him, but we'd already agreed to sign this right back. So Huo Jao Esporetta comes in now as a B team right back, stroke under 18 right back. He's very talented. My only thinking is the Wonder Kid one will probably end up getting picked up in a year or two for double the money. So this guy might be our long term right back. Let's look at it that way, shall we? And then finally, Martial Diamante comes in from Stella. Um, I wouldn't mind a Stella right now. 125k. <laughs> Central defender, very talented from Ivory Coast, valued up to 5.2 million. After paying 125k, there is profit in this player, 100%. But I haven't had added many. Two players in our first team, the rest are going into our youth team. And we've sold more than we've added. And that's because, again, I've wanted to trim down. We needed to trim the squad. So Otterson's going to start as our first choice keeper. Dolner is going to start as our first choice right back. So there's two players coming straight into the starting 11. But then you have Pereira, Mark Watson, um, Kelstrup, Gonzalez, Sterler, Rotterud, Michan, Midschoon, and Lethal Scarra. All who were with us before. And Mortensen, Madsen, Hansen, Gongora. Now, Orlande comes into our bench after two years in our B team. He is now going to move up into the first team. Age 20 now. I do think he's a very talented central midfielder. Comes in on the bench. Nylander and Franklin make up the bench. But then we've also got the likes of Talon. Christiansen have agreed to sell. We'll talk about the arranged sales when they actually go. Henriksen, Lerweg. Hansen, our left back, actually wants to leave us now. He has said he's going to explore his options at the end of the season. His contract actually runs out at the end of the year. Then he came to us and said, I want to leave now, but nobody's interested in him. So it's very upsetting that someone who's been with us since he was 16 years old is now kicking up a fuss like this, but he's probably going to end up going at some point during this season. Uh, for the Diallo, uh, Nolsa is back off loan at um, Nor um, Norseland. He's back now for this season as one of our backer wingers. Um, Nulsa, the attacking midfielder who came through the academy, is back after his long injuries. And Sundstrom makes up our squad. So we've got a very deep squad still, which is impressive considering how many players we've had to sell just to limit the amount of foreign players we have. Now, I did notice that I completely missed the sale out. Um, Mohamed Al Zawe. When I sorted signing new right back, he actually came to me and said he wasn't sure about staying at the club. So straight away I thought, you know what, let's get rid of you then. So after paying £20,000 for him, after two seasons with us where he did do a good job, we've ended up selling him for £9 million, rising to 10.27, sorry, 10.75 plus 30% of next sale. So that's a big sale, which I've just completely skipped over, so I apologise for that. But our squad's looking good. I've held on to quite a few players. Our front line now has three 30-year-olds in it going in the season, so we're not a young, young squad anymore. Gonzalez and Sterling are both 24 in midfield as well. Uh, Pereira and Mark Watson are both 23 in our central defence. Both our fullbacks are young, and one of our wingers is young, but... We don't have that young of a starting squad. Our backup players are young, but our starting squad is not that young. Now, the season preview has us at odds on 2-9. to nine. KI of 15-2, who do have a new manager this year. Vegan Gerga to 20-1. EB 25-1. B36, who did get European football along with Vesta, 33-50-1 and respectively. Now, the Dream 11, the I always like this Media 11 because it's not even ever close to what our actual squad is. 
So Anderson, the goalkeeper, is in the Dream 11, the 28-year-old Danish goalkeeper. Dolna, Pereira, Mark Watson and Hansen. Okay, I can accept that. Gonzalez and Henson as the central midfielders. Now, Hansen is a top, top player. I do think he's going to become a great player. But I would have Sterler in there. Rotterud, Diallo in, uh, instead of Michan. Now, Diallo is a top player, I think, long term. But he's not there at the minute. And then you have Midskugan on the left. And then Franklin up top instead. Lidl Scar, they're going with this year. Quick mention for Diallo. You can see he has been transfer list, etc. I think we're going to actually remove that now. We're having a bit of a disagreement because he was thinking maybe wanted to leave. So I said, okay, you can go. Offered him out. And really, no one wanted him, but it suggested transfer list him. So I did it because he wanted to leave anyway. Since then, he's actually come back and said he dropped all concerns. So we take him off transfer list and we will give him some football this year because I do think he's a very... Very talented looking player. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if he can develop how I hope he could. Now, weirdly, it says he already played two games for the B team last year. That I don't quite understand. Sorry, this this one here. He played loads of games for the B team last year. Yet, yeah, nothing seems to show up. It doesn't show that he ever played for the B team last year. That's um that's a little bit weird because he was scoring for fun for them last year. That's a bit of a weird bug. Good job, football manager. Good job. Um, in terms of other transfers that have happened then over this window, let's see the biggest deals. Let's find the biggest one, the first one that doesn't involve us. Is from SBO to KI for 275k is Ristic. I mean he's not he's got a good first touch and he can pass. It's a good start. And Kesha has come into KI as well, a central defender. Again, he's not the worst player. A B36 player has gone to Vester. He's bad. Um, I mean, there's business getting done. There's business getting done. Not even close to the level of what we are spending and selling for, but there's business getting done. But I'm excited for the season ahead. I'm excited to see exactly how we can do. You can see one of our new signings is actually labelled as the hot prospect of the club now, which is quite cool. Maybe maybe he will get some chance in the first team as a backup centre midfielder this season. I don't know. But thank you for watching. I've been Paul Osnon to Northman. And I will see you in June when we do the end of the first half of the season review. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.